good day to all the learners deck views out there so today we'll discuss uh, how to create the very first page of your powerpoint presentation and in this tutorial we'll be discussing specifically about a needle clock diagram the end ppt should look like this and all these points will be based on the rotation of this needle so let's start and see how we can create it uh, before uh, creating or starting with any of the PowerPoint presentation which actually has different uh, diagrams or different shapes, the thing you need to make sure is you need to go to this view ribbon, select these two options, ruler and grid line. See, uh, when you're working with text, it's easy to align it. But when you're working with shapes, diagrams and different pictures, it's important that you know where it should be placed and the alignment makes it much more viable and the visibility is much more brighter. So in order to do all these facts, you need to check all both these options. Uh, some may use these guides as well, but uh, currently these are not, this is not required. So after this, what we'll do is we'll change the color of the slide, right click on the slide, select this format background. I'll use the format background color as black. Now, go to this insert ribbon and i'll use a small shape which is called as rectangle a rectangle will actually cover 25 to 30 percent of your slide area uh, i opted for this because uh, maybe you have a company logo which you can place here later on or you have a company text maybe a slogan that you would like to write here currently we'll just keep it uh, as a shape and i'll just change the color of it as black now you can notice that a blue line is appearing just uh, after the shape and before the black background. This blue line is actually the outline of the shape. In order to remove this, click this rectangle, go to the format option, select the shape outline and click here no outline. Now you can see that the outline is not no more visible. What you can actually do is you can always uh, add some effects but we'll uh, try to cover this chapter later on. Now, the very first part within the clock needle diagram is creating a needle. So we'll click on this insert ribbon. We'll select an isosceles triangle within these basic shapes, which will look like a needle. Here it is. I'll just place it in between the tags. So this is the use of grid lines. See, uh, the purpose of creating this slide is based on the rotation of this needle. So let's try and rotate this needle. If you can suspect an error in the rotation, that's perfect then. When I'm rotating this, see the amount of this picture that should be visible to the clients or with the rotation is not similar in all these rotation angle. So in order to change this, because currently the center of rotation is between these two points. But what we would like to do is we need to change or convert the center of rotation from these two points to the base of this isosceles triangle. In order to do so, what we'll do is we'll just copy this, paste it and create similar triangle and place it right beneath it. Now select both these images by pressing a control button. Press control G, which will group this complete image. Now, when you try to revolve it or rotate it, see it will act like a clock needle see perfect because we have changed the center of rotation from here to here so now the rotation is uh, perfectly correct uh, but here the problem is that we do not need this uh, isosceles triangle which is uh, on the blue end side so what we'll do is we'll just make it a no fill and see it's not no more visible now the outline can be removed in the similar manner now you can rotate the triangle and you'll see that uh, it is revolving or rotating perfectly. The other part here is that you need to create an arc, uh, a clock arc. So go to the insert ribbon, select an arc from the basic shapes within shapes and draw it here. When you'll draw it here, it will be available and now you can actually change the size and the quantity of this arc depending on the requirement. So this is how you can place it and change the size of this arc. Perfect. What I actually feel is 
that the arc is not uh, perfectly visible to our customers or the viewers so what uh, i'll do is i'll select this picture i'll go here on the right hand side there is an option which is called as width i'll change the width to 8 pt now it's looking good and it's much more visible align these this arc with this rectangle and in order to properly show this arc what you can do is go to this shape effects use glow and select this option glow uh, maybe you can use a different uh, shape effect as well if you would like but this is what i'm currently using you can also change the color of this needle based on your theme so i'll just make it a lighter gray now uh, you can also change the color of this arc if you are using a different theme for example this can be your color and now you can change the size or the width of your arc this is how you can do it now the shape effects will be changed like glow and you can use it now let's move forward and see uh, what is remaining now we need to add some different pointers here in order to add pointers what we'll do is we'll add some isocellus triangles here as pointers you can always change the shape of the pointers depending on the requirement currently i'm just explaining the method of creating such diagram so i'll use it uh, the isocellus triangle i'll increase the size of the font here it is i'll make it a bit bold so that it is visible let's change the color uh, of this uh, isocellus triangle as well so maybe this one so in order to match this we'll need we need to change the color of this bit more darker so now it looks good so uh, here now you can add a bit of text as well with this first pointer go to insert go to text box enter insert text box and right here first point select this change the color which is in accordance with your theme increase the size of the font as per the requirements press this b button uh, these are all customizable options so you can do it as per the requirement now what we would like to do is we would like to point this needle right on this isocellus point or the first pointer so uh, we need to calculate the rotation because rotation is the most important animation that we are producing in this particular ppt so after selecting this image you need to go to the size and properties and see the rotational degrees currently it's at 21 degree so note it down that our very first point is at 21 degrees perfect now go to this animation let's let's add some animation to it so the animation that i'm adding here is appear this needle will appear now uh, it will appear not on click but after previous and now add some animations to this as well for this you can use uh, a wipe uh, maybe and you can start it from left use the same animation for this as well i'll start it from left here it is make sure that both uh, are after previous uh, the timings are not dependent on click this actually depends on the requirement because when you are presenting you don't want any interruption or use of clicks and mouse pointers so you need to make sure that the timings are perfectly set here uh, once you are done with it you can always change it uh, as per the requirement now the other important point that i need to mention here is that before copying both these uh, with a new shape or to a new place i have put in some animations because now when i'll copy both these images or the text box and the isocellus pointer it will be copied with the animation so i don't need to place animations again and again in case i'm not using different animations for all these points so just uh, i'll just click here i'll press a control sign and copy the text as well just hit control c control v and see here it is now just move it to the next point you can just place it here now uh, the next pointer will depend on your rotation so go here add uh, maybe 30 degrees to it it will be 51 here it is so according to this pointer your next point point should be here change it to 2 make it align it is your second point similarly uh, what we'll do is we'll add 30 degrees to it again which will be 81 degrees 
now your third pointer will be here sorry just cop press control and copy both these here it is here is your third pointer change it to three right here third similarly add another 30 degrees to it which which will be one 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 do the same again copy both these place it where your pointer is that's our fourth point name it for see you can write uh, the agenda as well for example you can write the clock timings 30 minutes 60 minutes 90 minutes 120 minutes or you can write different slide pages as well the first page second page third page or the fourth page so this uh, once you've created as you will have a, a bulk of options that you can actually customize within this particular animation now we'll go to this we'll add another 30 degrees to it 141 here it is this is our last point here and you need to make sure that uh, it is visible to your audience so we have created uh, five points here now let's uh, go to the very first point which was at 21 degree here now we have already added an animation to this particular needle now what we would like to do is we would like uh, to rotate this needle and after this needle this should appear so let's add one two three four animations to this needle the first animation should be the spin animation but as it's spinning or rotating 30 360 degrees what we'll do is we'll click here and we'll go to this animation pane it is the group 36 that was rotating 360 degrees click on this drop down menu go to the effect options within timing you can definitely change it so currently we are not using it you can change the amount of the clock rotation which is a custom of 30 degrees because we have added 30 degrees for all these points press enter now you'll see it is moving from point 1 to point 2 make sure that it is selected or will start after the previous and it is actually prior to this isosceles triangle so uh, once uh, it's rotated it will be let's try and play it from here see perfect now let's give it another we'll give it another uh, animation add an animation to this the animation will be similar that is a spin as you know that the spin is currently 360 degrees but go to this effect options from the amount change it to custom of 30 degrees here it is press hit enter and make sure that uh, the start is after previous and change its position to here now let's try and play it play it from initial again the first pointer the second pointer the third pointer perfect similarly do the same for all the remaining click here add an animation to it the animation is a spin by default it will spin 360 degrees you need to change it to a custom of 30 degrees because the difference between our pointers is 30 degrees hit enter and the other part that you need to change is make it after previous and now the position of this should be here now we'll be moving to the very last effect that we'll be adding within our presentation that is spin again but we'll change it to a custom of 30 degrees and we'll make sure that it is run after the previous automatically we'll change the position of this before this isosceles triangle perfect now the other part could be that uh, select this complete uh, slide click anywhere on the slide 
go to this transition and select this random bars it will make sure that uh, the effect is horizontally or vertically done like this so this is how you can create different effects so let's try and play it now the third point the fourth point the fifth point perfect so this is how you can create a perfect needle clock diagram and uh, once it's created you'll have a lot of options within your uh, pool so you can write here minutes and write here different meeting agenda or points you can write here slide numbers and then write here the headers of the slides or you can use it in many other ways please do use this and let us know how it worked and if it was useful to you as well please make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner deck so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos thanks for watching this one